The levels of cooperation across uh, the Middle East region have increased um, certainly in the times that I've been running this program the, the last few years. We see a lot more countries who are recognizing perhaps more the, the significance of trafficking illicit goods and counterfeiting. They recognize the impact on their society, they recognize the impacts on health and safety, they recognize how criminal groups are making money from this crime type and investing it in other crimes. And as a result, we're being invited more and more to present to national police. So that's been the example in uh, Egypt, Operation Monitor Eye, an unprecedented 90 days enforcement action against this crime type um, by the uh, Minister of Interior, uh, Ministries of Security in Egypt. Similarly in Qatar, we've been presenting workshops followed by operations. In Jordan, we've been invited to present. In Saudi Arabia, we were launching Operation Opsen, food-related crimes. In Dubai, we've worked very closely, increasingly, with the EPA organizations. And here now we find ourselves in Kuwait, invited by the Kuwait Ministry of Interior to co-host and open this very important event. So you'll see the footprint being created by the Traffic Illicit Goods Program across the Middle, uh, Middle East region increasing.